stores closing, policies changing, and new security measures. All this is retail business, and the district tries coping with the exploding crime and repeated thefts. Our Bob Barnard live in Columbia Heights at a store we've talked a lot about recently. Hey, Bob. Hey there, Marina. Yes, the city announced today that it's offering something like $20 million in grant monies to small and local businesses to try to keep them alive, keep them surviving and thriving at this tough time. You mentioned this is a CVS we've been telling you about here at 14th and Irving Streets in Columbia Heights that's closing at the end of the month. The company isn't saying officially why, but we know it's been the target of repeated thefts, some organized, some violent. Just down the street over in Adams Morgan, take a look at this. Overnight, three uh, men broke into the Safeway and uh, stole money out of that ATM machine. They damaged the ATM machine, got away with money, uh, forced a number of employees to be on the ground to stay on the ground. They ended up calling 911. The thieves made off with money. This is the same Safeway store uh, on Columbia Road that just last week introduced new security measures. These plastic, sort of like fare gates at the Metro. This is at the self-checkout area to try to prevent uh, customers from just walking out with things. We saw how that worked. You basically take the barcode that's on your receipt, and that's what uh, clears you on a reader there to get out. Had a chance a short time ago to speak to Nina Albert. She is the city's deputy mayor for planning and economic development. I asked her about the crime wave and also about that grant program, the city offering millions of dollars to these businesses. So 900 registrants came today to learn about these grant programs, which to me is an indicator that there is significant interest in remaining in Washington, both either to be a new business here or to expand in Washington. Um, so the, the two things can coexist. I know that everybody's very interested and in working together on resolving the theft and crime issues, but are businesses interested in doing business in Washington? They are. Now, just across the street here in Columbia Heights, the mall that is there that has Target as one of its anchor stores has a sign up saying, look, if you're under 18, you do not get in without an adult. And that has been an issue, especially, you know, afternoons with the Metro here. Uh, back here at the uh, CVS, you see the, the, the shelves are empty. There was a massive robbery here back in October. The pharmacy is open. What few items they have still uh, in stock here are locked up. Uh, the uh, prescriptions that are here will be sent to the uh, CVS that is right next to the Safeway in Adams Morgan. But for older folks, guys who have mobility issues, that's going to be a problem. Tomorrow here in the city, the D.C. Council is going to have his, its first vote on that secure D.C. legislation. One part of that legislation would uh, basically crack down on the adults who sometimes organize the those thefts, those retail thefts at the hands of young people in stores like this one.